Ooh, welcome back, everybody. Time to tackle Rusty Bucket Bay. Which is, without a doubt, my least favorite level in the game. It's not to say it's terrible. It's just kind of ugly looking. And it's got some of the more frustrating parts. I like these TNT buckets. Which you can kill with eggs. You can use the gold feathers on them. Or you can just have them chase you around until they explode. But first we want to come over to this corner and get these four notes. And as you might have just seen, under the grate there was the purple Jinjo. And this is my least favorite part of this world, is the water in here is murky and it cuts your oxygen down twice as fast as normal water. And it depletes your oxygen even if you are treading water. And the oxygen depletion is normal rate when you've got your head above water. Double rate when you're below. But you want to jump in. And there's a hole in the grate here that you can use to get the purple Jinjo. And then you immediately want to leave. And climb up on top of this box. Now we're gonna go the other way around. That's right, you got a talent trot on here. Go ahead and get these notes if you want, or we can get them when we hit the boat proper. We're not gonna hit the boat up just yet. What we are going to do is pay this toll, which takes eggs. So this one needs two. Now you might have seen the mumbo token and the gold feathers up there. You can pay extra eggs, I think four more, into there and it'll extend to this platform even farther and then you can bypass that enemy and get that mumbo token and gold feathers. But it's unnecessary. What is necessary is ground pounding that odd looking window pane to climb into here. From here we can get this Jiggy directly in front of the camera. And then we want to come this way. And activate this. Gets us an extra life. And get these notes. Then we want to leave via this open door. Don't worry about that noise, that's a dolphin that we're going to help later. A little pro tip is using the wing flap, because then you spend less time in the water, and it makes you traverse the water faster. Come back around, climb that ladder we climbed over the hill, over the roof. And now we can get these notes. So slowly walk along this thin railing. And then we're gonna jump and get this yellow Jinjo, but in this particular area is another chomper. Once you get the Jinjo, you want to jump into the water, and we want to quickly swim. You can see the light. There's a hole in the side of the shed that we want to get into. And then swim up, and we can quickly jump over to this way. And a new enemy shows up, the inner tube. 
which you can easily beat with a ratatat rep. Before you activate that flight pad, we need to come to the other side, where there's one of these enemies, another inner tube, and a switch, which makes the first extra honeycomb appear. And that is what we're going to use the flight pad for. You can get some gold feathers in the middle in that lifeboat if you want. So get that, and then we have to leave the way we came, through that same hole. Now we kind of have to be fast. But there's a hole. Ah. Swim straight up. And then there's a hole in the grate. And then we want to quickly float over to that ladder again. And now we're going to go all the way around. A note about the mumbo token I'm skipping while I walk to the other end. There's only one more transformation after you turn into a pumpkin and it costs 25 mumbo tokens. So once you hit 25 mumbo tokens from here on out, you can stop. But we're gonna get to this toxic pool and jump on these crates, these barrels, to collect these notes. Be careful because the barrels can lean all the way down and knock you off. We do want this mumbo token. So yeah, five more mumbo tokens is all we need and there's well more than five tokens out there. So we can start skipping some of the unnecessary ones, the ones you have to go out of your way for. Come this way, kill the TNT box. Go past that jump pad and pay this toll. Walk down the walkway and we get three crates here into the very first one we can kind of walk around and get all these notes. And this mumbo token. Push up against the wall as you're walking around the railing. Rats. leave out of here. You can't enter the second crate from here. You can get the eggs in between if you want, but come in the third crate and don't go too far forward. You just want to grab these notes and leave. There's several TNT boxes and nothing past them, and if you kill all the TNT boxes you get an extra life. But that's all that's in here, so all we need are the notes. Climb up the boxes to get to the top, and we can enter the second crate via this hole. From this hole, we can start walking around. There's some items on top of the crates if you want, nothing necessary. These enemies take two forward rolls to kill, or one rat attack wrap. The only thing we need to get is the blue ginger that's behind this crate. With that, we can leave the way we came. Hurry, 
And now we want to backtrack to the jump pad we skipped. And for these, you have a railing that's directly above you, so to get to it, you have to jump outward and then inward, like this. Otherwise, you'll just hit the ceiling. But come around and get these three notes, and then high jump up here, and you're going to want to beak barge the up button, which will raise a gate uh, cage on the boat. And we're going to have to rush over because it's on a timer. So hit the button. Keep hitting the wrong button for the big barge. And then quickly come to the right to climb up this ladder. Don't worry about the golden feather. And then a minute we can jump and glide down and grab it. Then we can come get this mumbo token. Then we want to jump down this left tunnel into the kitchen to get some notes. Do not step on the stove tops, they will burn you. Don't miss the note in the back corner. I think that's it. Up oh, one more. And then if you want, the ovens burn you as well, but you can use red gold feathers to get that mumbo token. But you don't have to. Then we're gonna come around. And actually, we're gonna break this window with a ratatat wrap. Some of them are breakable, some are not, but you can jump in and get these notes. Some gold feathers if you need to. But you want to break this and watch out for the enemy. Hard jump to get the next jiggy. And then let's come around to the other side. Watch out for these. Some of the tunnels are fake. And if you get close to them, they'll lean down to bite you. But you can see the difference between these two windows. The ones with the hinges can be broken. So let's jump into that one to get these notes. And this mumbo token. And then we can leave the way we came. With that done, let's continue around the boat. This is a fake tunnel, but directly past them is a fake window. Yeah, I see. That's how they attack, so just be careful about that. Let's jump in here for the crew quarters. Just a couple of notes. Some red feathers if you want. Otherwise, leave the way you came. Let's come up this way and notice... Kill this guy. The code here. It's always the same in every game. But we're gonna activate that real quick by coming this way. And climbing up these notes. And then high jumping up here. You can get this note. And this note. 
And here we can type in the code we just saw, which is always three, one, two, one, one, one. That gives us another jiggy. And then we can make our way to the very far end of the boat. You want to climb up these crates. And jump on top of this giant TNT box and climb up this rope. And then carefully walk over to the other side. Grab the gold feather if you need to, and jump down. And activate this crane. Which drops the TNT box on the cargo hold. With that done, drop down one level to get these notes. Then drop down another level. Activate these two tolls. Technically, you don't really need to activate this one if you don't want to. But, in the case, if you fall by accident, ooh, like I almost just did, because of the camera, there's a ladder back there, and then you can come back across using that weird zigzag bridge. This toll, however, you have to activate. So do so, and we're gonna use it to climb towards the yellow, I keep saying yellow, orange Jinjo. back to the crane, and we're going to use it to get back to the boat, and then we're going to enter the cargo hold. Before that, we're going to get something. Remember, you have to jump outward and then inward. Walk to the very tip of the crane, and we can hypothetically jump and float to the witch switch. You only just barely make it, so it might take a couple of tries. After that, jump down, and if you are good, you can fall right into the cargo hold. For a boss! For this boss, all we're gonna use is gold feathers. It's like a giant ice block that constantly breaks into two enemies, and then those two enemies each break into two enemies. And it keeps multiplying, but if you have a wealth of gold feathers, then this boss is simple. Grab the jiggy and be on your merry way. So now that we've got that done, we want to come this way and grab the notes at the back of the box. Careful of the fake tunnel. Back of the boat, I mean, hot box. Feel free to get the Mumbo token in the lifeboat if you want. In the 
and then into this right tunnel. Got some more notes and a fan switch that you definitely want to hit. That slows these fans down in the innards of the ship. So hit that and then climb back out. And now we're going to continue around the ship. Past the cargo hold this time. Kill this guy. Neither of those windows are fake. So jump into this tunnel. And you can get this Mumbo token, which is the last one we need. Although I guarantee you we'll be getting more. But most importantly, you want these notes. Use these oops, pipes or the box in the corner to get back to the entrance. And now we're gonna go back, climb up the boxes, and enter the middle smokestack here. Break open that door and enter. I don't think there's anything on the other side. But a ladder. You can use the ladder if you want. Or you can jump and float down. Right before this doorway, though, you can high jump up to that little hole you might see. That holds the second extra honeycomb. So, now for the most annoying part of the game, in my opinion. All these moving parts make it very difficult. And you lose a life and start all the way back at the entrance if you fall down. But at this fork, we're gonna go either left or right. It doesn't matter which one you do first. I prefer going this way first. Ugh. It's harder to deal with this jagged portion than the one on the other side. But grab those four notes. The spinning columns or pillars are exceptionally difficult because they can ran they randomly stop, and they'll sometimes stop when it's sloped, and you can slide right off. It's extremely annoying come up here for an extra life if you want but we want to hit this fan which will slow down the fans at the back of the ship and now we can ooh, see that's where it gets difficult they oscillate between going fast and slow and you want to jump through when they're going slow to get these notes we have to be careful cuz you get hit, they can knock you right off. Then come back to the middle and go over to the other side so that we can get these notes. Don't worry about those mumbo tokens, they're not worth it. And then come across here. Alright. So before we get that, let's get that jiggy in the back there. These pillars don't move. Come back to the fan switch you haven't hit yet. And here's how we're gonna do this. When we hit this, the fans in the back of the ship stop completely and a timer starts. Luckily, the spinning pillars also stop now these rotating platforms directly in front of me do not stop, and the gears do not stop, but 
once we hit this switch, we need to rush out the way we came, and then to the back of the ship to get the jiggy. So here we go. So wait for this to rotate. And then... go! You can just jump down off the gears. <laughs> Climb this ladder. If you just jump straight down, then kill the creature on your way out. And then run straight back. We're going past the cargo hold. Again, watch out for the fake tunnel right here. He will slow you down. And we're going to jump in. Try not to hit the blades. The blades can still hit you. And then we want to get out. Oh, I made it. That is most likely the place where you're going to die. Getting in is difficult enough, but then getting out before the blades start back up. And when the blades start back up, you're almost trapped in there. And you're drowned. If that happens, though, it's no big deal. You'll just start back at the entrance which is where we're going to be heading anyway. If you did happen to make it and get the jiggy and escape with your life, then come back to the entrance ramp. And now we're going to climb all the way up the smokestacks. Which we can do by jumping back up the boxes. Ignoring that entrance this time. Climbing up this ramp. Going around to the other side. Climbing up this ladder to the second level. Grabbing these notes in between the two smokestacks. Going around to the other side again for another ladder up to the third level. You can get this jump pad if you want. But it only leads to another Mumbo token. So I'm gonna ignore it. Get these notes. And climb up this ladder. For our second to last Jiggy. You can see the Mumbo token back there. And now we can jump straight off. We wanna come all the way out to the front of the ship where we meet the dolphin trapped under an anchor. You can free him by swimming up into the hole that the anchor chain is coming out of. And into this tunnel here. Be careful of all the enemies. Grab the last of the notes. And hit the anchor switch for the last jiggy. I jumped to get out of here. Collect your jiggy, and then let's get out of this stupid level. Hooray! 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 
Once we leave, you want to immediately swim back one room to where that mine is. And you want to swim up and straight to get to that platform that led to the level 3 water switch. Which is where the witch switch jiggy for Rusty Bucket Bay is. Then we want to cut to the right. Avoid the mine. Climb up here and open this note door if you have not already. We find a tunnel with tons of whiplashes, which I find easiest to get through if you just activate your gold feathers run on through. And then quickly turn around and you'll see there's a tunnel buried under the tall grass here. Climb into here to activate the second red cauldron. So now we have arguably the best shortcut in the game. Leads all the way from Treasure Trove Co. to the last level. Come across and kill this minion if you want. Takes two Ratatat wraps to find a Brintilda. When you're done with Brintilda, come across to the other side and we want to jump up that leaf that's right above the bowl which might take a hit or two. And once you high jump up there, you can high jump up here and up here. You can open that note door if you want, but we're not going that way yet anyway. Instead, you want to come around this way. You can go through that tunnel for a mumbo token. But what we need to do is go all the way to the end and hit this switch. That unlocks a jiggy plinth all the way back at Treasure Trove Cove. If you've done some exploring on your own, you might have noticed a pond next to the entrance to Treasure Trove Cove that led to what looked like nowhere. It was a painting that had no plinth. Well, now we're gonna take that red cauldron shortcut so that we can get to this last painting. Swim down this waterfall. And this is what I was talking about. Over here is a tunnel. That leads to this painting. And before we do that though, you can get the mumbo token behind this tree, although it's unnecessary. You can see I already have 26. I only need 25. And we can talk to what I believe is the last Brintilda. With all the Brintilda facts written down, we can activate our final painting and open up our final world. And as you may notice from the Jiggy count, it's not actually our final painting. Spoiler. But with that done, let's swim all the way back to the red cauldron.
And you have to talent trot up this hill. And we'll tackle one of my favorite, but also the longest levels next time. So until then, stay safe.